and daddy's tax dollars and turn them into machines of global destruction. Buongiorno, Admiral. With this new state-of-the-art homing device, any torpedo that misses its target will automatically turn around and head for home base as fast as it can. Uh -huh. Perhaps you'd like to examine the schematics. I'll take it. Grazie, Le. Andiamo, Mario. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you. Great to know you. Good to meet you. Okay, you're on a submarine. You've been at sea for six long, boring, cramped months, locked up with the same stinking smelling guys, when all of a sudden, all you can think about is that you're surrounded by water. Everything is closing in on you from all sides. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. It's the new imaging room system. Yes, it's over 101 beautiful scenic vistas. Yes, picture-perfect panoramas that'll make claustrophobia a word of the past. I'm telling you, with these beautiful babies on board, you'll never have to worry about anything. In fact, there's just no reason to ever bring the boys back home again. Wow. Did I happen to mention our rebate plan? I'll take it. What? The Secretary of Defense sounds upset. He wants to talk to you about the standard. Malice. are going to be talking about the USS Standard, the new stealth submarine. It's over budget. Can you say over budget? Over budget? I knew that you could. Admiral Malice, since you are in charge of the new stealth submarine program, I guess these next words are for you. Ready? The President. Once the standard in the water in one week. <clears throat> Secretary, Mr. Neighbor, my contractors assure me that with only 2.5 billion more dollars, we can have the standard ready, say, by next spring. Can you say one week? One week? I knew that you could. One week? <laughs> One week. Mr. Wedgwood is not going to like this. Mr. Wedgwood. Sir, we've got a problem, sir. You know what the problem is with the world today, Pluto? Oh, what's that, Mr. Wedgwood, sir? Just aren't enough wars. Wars get things going. Is that what the Cold War did for industry? over. Just another war. I could make another fortune. <clears throat> they want the standard in the water. <clears throat> well, in one week, sir. I thought you were going to take care of necessary delays. 
I, I, I've tried to explain to them. You see, they just... You know, they understand what the nation's defense is about. They were completely unmoved. U.S. substandard will be in the water in a week. Of course, under the circumstances, we have to cut a few corners here and there. I've been in tense situations before. I was captain of the football team. I always came through. But now, I, I don't know. I'm not eating, I'm not sleeping. It all started that day. My first real assignment. Commanding the USS Bongo. Everything was going great. We're headed right for sure! Maybe not exactly great. We're going to hit it! We're going to hit it! Give us an autosome! So many thing at all. So blow the ballast. So blow the ballast. Sounds like an auto man. left me paralyzed. Ever since then, my life's been a shambles. I can't concentrate, nerves are shot. I've got these feelings, nothing more than feelings. Uh, trying hard to forget these feelings. Hit the floor, mama's boy, and give me 50! What? You heard me, slime ball! Lick the dirt now! Yes, sir! <laughs> You are one poor excuse for a commander, better. I'm lucky to be a Navy man, sir. Lucky? I call it divine intervention. Sit up. Yes, sir. One. My count. One. What is it with you, Banner? What in the hell makes you think you should be in charge of anything? I'm a people person, sir. Squad thrust. Double time. One. Freeze. Well, we know why you get all weak need like some piss-soaked chihuahua every time this man's navy gives you command of anything, don't we, Banner? Yes, sir, we do, sir. Ten hut! <sighs> Shoulders back, stomach in, chin down! Need I mention the real reasons you can eat and the real reasons you can't sleep, Mr. Phobia Man? No, you don't need to mention it. What kind of Navy man is afraid of situations Please, no. where the ceiling is uh, too uh, no, or you're submerged yeah. in? Uh, what? Uh, I don't know, sir, but I'll get to the bottom of it. You're already at the bottom, Banner. So, what do you have to say to that, Mr. Weenie Man? Well, we seem to be getting somewhere. Same time tomorrow, Sergeant. Uh, aye, aye, sir. Banner, congratulations. Your orders have been cut. My orders, sir. Your orders, son. You have been chosen to command the U.S. substandard. Do you think I'm ready for that, sir? You're not going to let a little thing like beaching a sub slow down a fast-track career like yours, are you, son? It was a big thing. It was a big sub, sir. Smile. Smile! Big sub. Get him. Oh, whatever the sacrifice, get that sub in the water. Yes, sir. And then I want you to assemble me to the worst crew ever. Yes, sir. I want the drinks, the loonies, the dropouts, the burnouts, the lowest of low, the scum of the earth. And Mo? Yes, sir. 
I want you on that crew. You'll be my eyes, you'll be my ears. Of course, it'll be your ass. <laughs> yes, sir. One week, sir. I'll be your eyes. I'll be your ears. It'll be my ass. <laughs> I can't believe this. We're short of materials, manpower, and now this? Are you absolutely, positively sure these are all the plans they sent? Yep. And you're absolutely, positively sure they want it in the water in a week? Yep. Well, what are we supposed to do with the rest of it? I don't know, boss. All I know, we got a roll the size of 57 Chevy right about, right about here. Get out of here. All right. 157 Chevy, coming right up. Let's hustle. Get it inside. Let's go. Give it a good time. Same like that. Yeah, yeah. Four, she has more. Fourteen. Give me a beer. If that beer is in root, ginger, or malt. Malt. Vanilla, strawberry, or chocolate. Is it Chocolate. Uh, thanks. Hey! Look who's here! Hey, what up? Hey, yo, come on! Biff, Biff, come on! We got it, we got it, we got it. The old arm, come on. No, the old torpedo, just once. You guys, it's a good one. All right, all right, all right. Look at this. Help me. Hey, 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 Fumble. Oh, good. Don't, you hate it when that happens. Look, I, uh, um, come here. You one, idiot! One right. Stop it! But, yes! Oh, out of my way. Go! 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 Sorry, that was just an emergency. No. I just had to do it. No! It's you! No. Look, my boss, I didn't mean it. That doesn't surprise me. Nothing you will ever do will surprise me better! Uh, it's just... What the hell? I just... Oh, it should go! It's a simple human mistake! Mistake? Oh, I must have taught you something after all! Oh, oh you taught me! All right. You taught me to stay the hell away from teachers like you! Yes. That's him! Hey! I'm not so fast. Yeah. In fact, you're the reason that the Academy has lost one of the best instructors it ever had. Oh, yeah! Oh. It pleases me to know my humble efforts so vastly improved the quality of education at the Academy. Get me out of here. Well, we're in good hands now. Out of the way. Don't worry, they work for me. Out of the way. I'm blowing this popcorn stand. All right, something's wrong. You must have the wrong guy. Can we check the list again? Oh well, so much for military intelligence. Sure, he said banner. Sure, it didn't say get me a hammer. Wow, <clears throat> very impressive. Moving on. Uh, we're here. I know. Okay, Beppo. Follow me. These guys are gonna take orders from me. <laughs> Looking very good there. Very good. Straight ahead. It's getting a little squeezed. Uh, okay. So, coming, coming through, guys. Uh, if you can. Okay. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Coming. Coming down. The sun is going to be up in 20 minutes. I don't want anyone to be seeing this summary in the daylight. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Where's 
Banner. Banner front center. Ooh, Congratulations, Banner. Big night for you, my boy. I got my gloves. <laughs> Better get underway. Have more malice. Considering the long delays and ridiculous cost overruns with the project, don't you think it's just a wee bit of nothing? These gentlemen are going to squirt you to the press briefing. That's a four-star general. Shook my hand. The men that go down to the sea in ships. So long, suckers. <laughs> Hey, guys, the hatch is over here. Hey, 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 what are you doing with my pants? That's not my crew? There's only ten minutes to launch, sir. Your crew's already on board, sir. Really? How about if we go with those guys are going? Let me help you, sir. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. That was fast. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Ensign Skiff, sir. 12 years Naval Academy, sir. I almost graduated last year, sir. Well, you keep on trying. At ease. At ease. Very good order, sir. Very nice. Gosh almighty, I am so glad to see you made it on board safely, Captain, sir. They give you these hats. That's yeah. great. You'll get the bill later. <laughs> I think the bill's big enough already. Oh, yes, sir. Your crew awaits you, sir. Good. Good. One sir. Come around this way, sir. No, I tried. Uh, it's not good. 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 Probably me. Probably just me. Uh -huh. Are these the uh, first officers? Uh, they are our only officers, sir. Well, these might be a little dressy then. Ah, okay. Uh, this is our navigator, Captain. Uh, uh, Officer Randy McNally. Twelve years tactical navigation, sir. Cabby, New York. Rush hour. Mmm, great. Combat experience. What battles have you fought in? Uh, Battle of the Bowery, Battle of the Crooked Straits, and the week-long Grateful Dead concert at the Garden. All right, moving on. Ooh, you're really in good shape there. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. This is Officer Quisby, sir. And what's your area of expertise, sailor? Uh, I know that. I know the answer to that. Just, uh... Give me a second. Uh, He's a communications communication specialist. I said it first. I knew that. Well, communication yeah, specialist. He said it first. I said it first. I did. At any rate, uh, we'll be communicating a lot, I'm sure. And then, what do you mean? What does he mean? Is this like a test? I mean, I know everything I'm supposed to and everything. Well, sure. <laughs> it's just that uh, tests make me a little... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, nervous. No. Sweaty. None of the above. Tense. Tense. Hey, hey. Then no tests. No tests. No tests. No tests. Ah, this is Officer Sonar, sir. You must be our sonar expert. Am I right about that? Your mother must be so proud of you. Uh, all right. Sir, this is Turbo. He is our chief engineer, and he has worked on every kind of vehicle in the Navy, sir. Ah, good, good. So you're used to working on sophisticated, complex machinery, then? No problem, sir. Great. Uh, ever worked on a nuclear sub before, Turbo? Well, sir, you seen one, you've seen them all, sir. Yeah. Mm. You ever seen one? I can't say that I have, sir. Mm. And this is Officer Apple, sir. He's our computer expert. Four years grade school, four years at MIT. Oh, well, this is going to be a real learning experience for you then, huh? I hardly think so. 
I've already memorized all the operation manuals mm. and all the specs and all the codes and all the directions and all the diagrams and all the charts and all the descriptions. Still going. And the standards like mm. this. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, there's be some... Well, this is our special observer, assigned by Secretary Neighbor himself, first in her class in Navy Academy, expert in naval protocol, two years active duty on submarines, sir. Great. All right. Uh, this is like it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Special observation assignment. Hmm. Observing what? You. Oh! Every move you make, every regulation you break, I'll be watching you. I've heard that tune before. Everything will go on my report to Secretary Neighbors. Big deal. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm chicken fried. Oh, uh, Captain. I'm saturated in fat. Your crew. I'm boiling at 300. Attention. Uh, attention. Prepare to launch. Launch is good. I got a banana. Launch! I said. Launch. this thing just to crotch you off guard and get your job is that it bingo and i bet you thought you could lick me huh anytime any place but you're going down all on your own buddy face it baby you're gonna blow it what's hard for you to swallow is that i'm the head honcho around here and i get to give all the big commands head honcho oh he will never change he has been trying to undermine me since the day I met him. She hates when I have the last word, always has. She wants my job and she can't have it. <laughs> you know what you are? Here it comes. You're a hard-headed, insensitive, overblown incompetent. <laughs> overblown? <laughs> Just stay away from me, Michaels. It'll be my pleasure, Captain. Your order, sir? Uh, commence launch countdown? Very good order, sir. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Commence launch countdown! Be happy to, Captain. We'll start at 10. Just because everybody else does. There's nobody here. Ten. And that's very observant, sir. Any 10, that's uh, our hold, very hold, own uh, substandard Can you hold on for now, a second because nobody's shit. here now? Water pressure, a lot. Oil pressure, so-so. Electrical systems, faulty. Navigational systems, down. Computer systems, down. Safety systems, all down. So much quickly, please. Five. Six, Everybody just eight, seven, three, two, one.
Apple, ready the ballast tanks for dive conditions. Yes, sir. Sonar, let me know if anything comes in the neighborhood. Bisbee, switch off the radio, silent running. Great. Up periscope. See, Captain. Nothing. The lens cap's on. Ah, I'll make a note of that. Good. Ooh, interesting. I'll get him. When will we be rid of the standard for good? We're gonna put it through a few tests. <laughs> that ought to do it. I'll be controlling the standard personally from sure. You don't have anything to worry about, Mr. Westwood. I'll see you to it. I don't like to be disappointed. Can we drop you anywhere, Admiral? You know, that is really very nice of you, sir. Good. And why don't we drop you right here? White House, James. And tell the President not to be late. Captain's log, subdate Thursday. I, Biff Banner, am in complete command of the standard. Everything is running smoothly, except for Michael's little miss. Perfect, little miss. I'm going to write every little thing down in my report. I think once I even thought she was cute. Oh, boy, live and learn, Biffo. She, of all people, called you overblown. Overblown? <laughs> That's what she said. Can you believe it? Whew. Uh... Calling them all. Breaker, breaker, bronco buster, bronco buster, breaker, breaker. Commence. Break wind. Uh, sir, uh, operation what, sir? Break wind. Uh, sir, I can't hear. Break wind. Break, break what, sir? Wind. Break wind, you idiot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll be proud of me, sir. Uh, this is the mole. I am over, and I am out. Survive 12 hours, the captain 10. The bundle fuzzle till it's five hours. <laughs> Get out of here. Touch boy. Touch boy. Touch boy. Uh. Huh? Nope. The men are eager. Launch, launch. I mean, it sounds similar, but what's this? Imaging room. Huh. Welcome to the imaging room, capable of simulating over 100 beautiful scenic environments for your recreational pleasure. Hey, no, 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 as you were. <laughs> Wait a minute. Welcome to the imaging room, capable of simulating. Wait a minute. Uh... <clears throat> Never 
never mind. Coming in. Coming out. Coming out. Thank you. You can't fool me, Michaels. I know why you wanted to come on this mission. Get it through your skull, Banner. I was assigned to this missionary position, and now I'm sorry I was. The only thing you're sorry about is that you're not on top. Huh? Is that so? Is that so? Is that so? <clears throat> come on, let's quit this chit-chat. You and I both know you always wanted to sit on the helm of a big submersible projectile like this one. Deck three, pressed feelings and sexual <laughs> innuendos. <sighs> If it's got a rudder on it, I can drive it. Sir, this isn't SOP or SOD. You SOB, get me the standard. Aye, sir. I you have the con. Out. Sparks, fetch me in. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to join us for orientation briefing? Yeah, sure. <laughs> ah. Orientation briefing. I'll be brief because testing procedures begin at 0800 hours. <laughs> All right. Just a few things about the standard. Page 107. The stealth device is a system of sonic dispersions using cetacean emitting patterns to... So tell you what? Ask me. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Cetacean, a whale skiff. Everyone will just think we're a big whale. Ooh, neato. <laughs> Perhaps Good. the captain would like to fill us in on some of the more technical aspects of this. Sure. Um, well, uh, well, it's sort of just, uh, it's really, it's all in here and... Ha ha! Turbo! Just in time. Would you like to give us some of the technical aspects of the standard itself? She's big. Big. Right. Uh, I'll look that up. Uh, Quisby. Yes, sir. Quisby, can you communicate to us just some of the basic objectives of this mission? Is this, uh, <laughs> is this multiple choice? <laughs> I don't know. Is it a multiple choice uh, question? I have no idea. Oh, the objective of this mission no, is quiet, to... Quiet, quiet, please. Sonar. Is it too late to apply for a transfer? Yeah, let's let's look into that. Some of the others might be interested in that too. <clears throat> this is Admiral Malice calling the standard. Switch to base control. Surprise. Good. Switching to base control. I get to say that. Officer Apple. Uh, switch sir. to base control. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wait. Uh, as captain, I am complete. Control. Well, easy come, easy go, huh, Captain? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Steady, Michael. It's been a long time, sailor. But they say there's two things you never forget. One of them's riding a bicycle, and uh, I forget what the other one is. Prepare for the loop de loop. <laughs> loop de loop. So long, suckers.
thousand dollar bracket on that. Right here, right here. Okay, call that. Yeah. Quincy, you got that? All right. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm here. We need a gumline. Gumline. Gumline coming up. Oh. Turbo. Hang on. I'm coming down. Yes, sir. Come on down. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cap, cap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going down there. You coming down, sir? Coming down. All right. Come on down, sir. Right. Coming down. Yes, sir. Permission to come down again, sir. Coming down. Here he comes. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. There he goes. Uh -oh. Sir, come on down. Uh, coming down again. Yes, sir. Clear to come down again, sir. Captain, why don't we use the stairs? Coming down to get on stairs. Yes, sir. Coming down again on the stairs. Hush! All right. Get secure on that stairs. All right. Come on. Quickly grab that pole. Yes, sir. Push, push. This piece is stuck in the snow. We're all doomsday. Whoa. Right down. Get this down. I'm going to go straight, right? How did he do that? How did he do that? Oh, hey! Clean the oh, beam, the sun, the foot, and the team needs to lift. There's only one man to call it that fifth. So, like, what does a guy have to do to get a little attention around here? I'll give you attention. First of all, you saved the ship. Oh, okay, but, but that was just all luck. Second of all, you left the bridge to help the crew. But you left the bridge. Are you following this? Not at all, sir. And third of all... Gentlemen, there's been a change of plans. Prepare for the abyss. He's sending us into the abyss? The abyss? The abyss. Sir, no sub has ever survived the abyss. What do you have to say about that? Admiral Malice is our chief of staff. If he wants to send us into the abyss, it is our duty to go into the abyss. <laughs> He just wants to see if I can take it. Here. I'm ready.
Are you okay, sir? Beth. You better give us an order, honey. Uh, disconnect face control. And nobody leaves this bridge. Is that clear? Yes. The face control has been disconnected. All systems are back in your control, folks. Mr. Wedgwood's not gonna like this. satellite will fall in Soviet waters. You will see to it that the standard is sent to retreat. Soviet waters? But that satellite has got a nuclear bomb on it. Precisely. And the standard will be destroyed. And I'll get my delicious little Nobody's here. I told them to stay here. Ensign, come out here. Sir, I just uh, received a dispatch for Admiral. Get him, get him, get him. I can do that, sir. Guys, guys, I think that you'd better come out here. Uh, here they are, sir. Fall in. Yes. At attention. Yes. In all my years, I have never seen a crew that could equal the incompetence of this one. At least this is only a training mission. Why, I wouldn't take a walk across the street with a bunch like this, much less go on a real mission with them. Um, what sir, is it? It's our real mission, sir. Um, Admiral Malice has ordered us to secretly enter Soviet waters, retrieve an American satellite, and disarm the nuclear bomb it is carrying, sir. Right now? Well, uh, sometime in the next hour would be good we're going home uh, uh, excuse me sir but 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 if admiral malice our chief of staff mm. um ask us to to retrieve a fallen satellite then isn't it our duty to retrieve the fallen satellite sir yes well this changes things we're all in this together. Hey, gang. Oh, sonar. McNally. McNally. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Have you seen Captain Banner lately? Captain Banner lately. Captain ba Oh, he's in there. Great, thanks. Oh, hey. Uh, what, what, what? Have you seen the bridge lately? Up there. Up there. Oh, hey, I can use that. That's good. Probably me. Probably just me. Welcome to the imaging room. Capable of simulating over 100 beautiful scenic environments for your recreational pleasure. Wow. Captain? Uh, uh skip. Welcome. Go in peace. Right, sir. Right, sir. Um, I really think that you should uh, take a look at this, sir. I must not disturb thy perfect focus. <laughs> oh, right, sir. Right, sir. Absolutely, sir. I'll tell you what. 
You finish your putt, and when you're done, we'll go back to the bridge. Fair enough. Okay, I'll just stand over here. I'll just be right over here, sir. Right over here. Settled? Yes. Fine, sir. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh. Sir, you ever notice how loud things are when you're trying to be quiet? You ever notice how loud breathing is when you're trying to be quiet? I won't do that anymore. I won't even breathe. I'm going to hold my breath for you, sir. Very good. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. There, sir. Oh. You see, I'd just screw things up. Sure, I was the star quarterback. Object of endless adulation. But it's all behind me now. Ah, I'm retired now. And, uh, oh, goodness gracious, Soviet satellite, nuclear bomb, <laughs> top break, come. Whoa, watch it, sir. Excuse me. Sir, sir, mm. you are the one person in the entire world that can unite this crew, oh, yeah. get us to the satellite, mm. and disarm the bomb in time. Curious, that, yes. But, sir, mm. but, sir, no. I believe, I believe that if you believed in yourself, then everybody would believe in you, and then everybody could believe in each other. I'd like to believe that, but then I would have to figure out what you just said. <clears throat> What is the likelihood that this bomb would go off? It's set on an automatic timer for two hours after touchdown. I think I'll be a friend today. And tell the Soviets all about this. Sure. I think that we can all agree here that that could land us in the doo-doo. Mr. Secretary, Mr. Neighbor. Forget this perestroika stuff. Look at it this way. Suppose a Soviet military secret spy satellite were to splash down in our waters, full of that Soviet secret equipment. Now, would we believe them if they told us that it had a nuclear device on it? It's a tricky day, sticky day at the Pentagon. So, gang, if we really work together as a team, everything will be fine. Mm. Everything is going to be just fine. You'll be proud of me, sir. I won't let you down. I'm getting something on the screen. There's a signal. I'm not sure. There's a big signal. An American submarine has entered our waters. So, we tried peace, but they don't want it. Oh, oh, comrade. It is the substandard. The substandard? It is paramount we deploy the pink November. Anything. Captain, I think I hear singing. Curious. Captain, we have located the substandard. Excellent. Where? Here. The hunt is on, comrade. You know what I think? God 
with me? All that business about the American stealth bomber, all is just big smokescreen. Who would spend so much money on something so stupid? The stealth bomber is just to cover up what they really do. What is? To build and launch their stealth submarine. This job stand up? Yeah. Ooh, I ain't got the goosebumps. Oh, me too. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh, sir, a Soviet sub is pursuing the substandard. Holy torpedo, Admiral, it's the Pink November. Pink November? Oh, darn, I guess this ends the secret part of the mission. I better call up the Sixth Fleet and then order them to protect the standard against any hostile actions, even if it means destroying the Pink November. <laughs> <laughs> well, comrade, an American armada is descending upon us. Yeah? Yeah, let's just see what they think about this. <laughs> Look, Admiral, a Soviet flotilla is zeroing in on the sixth fleet. Yeah? Well, let's see what they think about this. <laughs> Submarine Soviet. Oh, not the pink November. All right. Engage stealth device. Oh boy. It's disappeared. Disappeared? Uh, all I'm getting is a whale, huh? A whale? Uh, Idiot! Jason, Jason. Hoi! Jason, Jason, Chuckoo! Oh, this is the biggest whale I've ever seen. You're mine! Mine! Our harpoon number three! We're being followed. Followed by what? A boat. And the stealth device is engaged? Yeah, affirmative. <sighs> what kind of a boat is that? <laughs> what is this? It's a harpoon, sir. Why? Well, uh, perhaps somebody thinks we're just a big whale, sir. Why? Fire again! <laughs> oh, boy. Disengage the stealth device. Affirmative. <sighs> torpedo room. Fire torpedo number one. By substandard. We're under attack! Under attack! Engine room! All full ahead! Full ahead! Secure all decks! All decks! Quarters! Sonar! Activate the stealth device! Stealth device! Stiff! Stiff! Please! Sorry, sir! Okay. Yeah. Missed? Wait, hey! What a fish! Fire again! Sonar! Turn off the damn stealth device! There it is! Fire now! Yes, sir! Whatever you say, sir! No! I'll get it. You missed, you idiot. Welcome to the imaging room. Capable of simulating over 100 beautiful scenic environments for your recreational pleasure. Oh, 
Uh, this should be good. Uh, I'm taking you back to the bridge, Captain, because that's where you belong. Says who, buckaroo? That's yeah. it. No! No! Oh. There is no way that I'm going to go back and be the captain of those people. Why not? They don't like me. Fire again! You heard me, they don't like me. No, yes, they don't. They hate me. No, no. Are you coming back with me or not? Fire torpedo number 10. I was shooting great. It was fun. Yeah. I was having a great time. Yeah. And you're always saying you're the captain. So why don't you be the captain? All right, All right. you want to see captain? Yes. I'll show you captain. Fun. Yeah. Hoist the mainsail. Bend down the hatches. Pilots, put your backs into it. Need your ice blow dead ahead. Tighten the ropes. Bend that ladder. Sir, sir. And now, can't you see I'm on a roll? Captain, look at this. 
reading the satellite at only a hundred yards <laughs> off starboard. <laughs> it has to be diffused. Absolutely. Captain, yeah. the bomb on the satellite is set to go off in 13 minutes, 44 seconds. You could take the mini-sub, you could go to the satellite, you could crawl in and you could diffuse it. Well, yeah, but the, the, the mini-sub's kind of sort of camped. No, it's cramped. And besides, it's surrounded by a lot of otter. Water. So, uh... I think you should just take it from here, okay? No, Bip, Bip, this is a perfect opportunity for you to overcome all your phobias. No. It'll be fine. No, no, yeah, no, it'll no. be neat. No, no, it won't. It's time for you to be captain, and here's your chance. Go for it. Oh, fine. Be that way. You want to see captain? I'll show you captain. Oh, I really appreciate this, Michael. Oh, man. Lots of otter in here. He's doing just fine. To the left? Right. Right. To the right? Yeah. There's a satellite. He's a day. He's a day. Careful. Careful. Yes, sir. The name's Mole. Mole? The Mole. You mean... Exactly. And all this time you were actually... Precisely. Okay. What's this? The bomb. The bomb? Nuclear bomb, sir. Yes. Excuse me. Someone oh, drinking. Don't mind me. Uh, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to cease and desist disarming that bomb, Captain. I'm sorry, I... I'm not taking any requests right now. He's doing fine, just fine. Right, right. Oh, yeah. This bomb cannot be disarmed. No way, no how, no matter what you do, so there. Another fine mess the arm dealers at Wedgwood Research and Technology have gotten you into. Oh. This makes my work uh, uh, simple, sir. Look, Mole, this job, uh, I hate to break it to you, but there's not a lot of future in this. Great job, sir, a Navy job. The hours are good. Uh, sir, no, no. OK, sir, sir, the whole Pentagon is watching you. Come really? On. I'm a free agent. Free? A chance, Small. All right, here I go. <laughs> sir, you did it. Do you realize what you just did? No. Uh, you overcame your phobias. Uh, I did. Yeah! Water! Uh, water. <laughs> yeah! I made it through! Cramp spaces, the mini sub! That's <laughs> cozy in here! <laughs> this oh. is what being a captain is all about. Ah, no. ah, I, yeah. I told you he would be just fine. <laughs> <clears throat> captain, you'll be proud to hear that we've taken care of things on our end. The Sixth Fleet is ready to escort us out, but we've got to hurry. Yeah, we can't get out of here. Your little plan didn't work. Well, you did defuse the bomb. No, it was indefusible. That's incomprehensible. It's indeniable. It's inconceivable. It's indivisible. Sirs. But, sir, what does all this mean? Well, we've got to go to Plan B. Plan B? Plan B. What is Plan B? Well, I've tied the satellite to the anchor, and we're going to drop it into the abyss. The abyss? The abyss. The abyss. Uh, Set the coordinates for the abyss. We'll drown it in there. It's our only chance to save the world. Tell the Sixth Fleet we're coming through. Aye, aye, sir. There's just one problem. What problem? Problems? Uh. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. It doesn't look like the Sixth Fleet. It looks a lot like a big, angry Russian fleet. You're getting warmer, Captain. Uh, didn't anybody tell him we have a bomb? Come you are surrounded. You will be allowed to leave our waters under one condition. You must leave the satellite behind. You have 30 seconds. Boy, I love this weather. 
What is your answer, Captain Banner? Captain Banner, what is your answer? Okay, boy. 19. 18. Captain, I think we have to just cut the chain and, and give them a the thing. I think that would be a very good idea. We are in their world, and now that we have to set them in the middle of the world. Absolutely, I agree. This is the way it is, Nine, oh. 13, what? Nine, Captain? Eight, Captain. seven, six, five, four, three, two, time out! Time out? Time out? Time out? Time out? Great. We got a little breathing space. Now, Grisby, get me the international operator. You got it, sir. Time out. Time out. Yeah. We're taking a time out. Oh, operator. Yeah? Uh, get me Joe. It's Biff. Biff who? <laughs> right, uh, Biff Banner. All right. Hey, kid. It's Joe. Joe, what's the bottom line here? Ooh, you're in a pretty tough spot, Biffo. And they're big, too. If we make the wrong call here, there'll be a whole lot of Monday morning quarterbacking going on. Right. So, what do you think we ought to do? It's late in the game. You're in terrible field position. Turnover here could mean, uh... World War III. <clears throat> pretty bad, huh? Yeah, pretty bad, Biffo. Under the circumstances, I would say punt. Punt? Save your knees, kid. Punt. You sure, Joe? Of course, but it's your call, Biff. You ready? Break. This better be good, Banner. Call the huddle of the Sixth Fleet. A huddle? A huddle. Huddle! So, okay. uh, there's the huddle. That's what I got him now. You bet. What is a huddle? Huh? Look up huddle. All right, six fleet, listen up. All right, here's the play. We start off in the regular formation, and then we go Red Dog 7. Right. Block back, five up, five down. Yeah. I 27, do 36, 92. Got we it. need a crack back block, Fine. 87 yeah, sweep with a reverse, okay? Mm -hmm. You got it, I can do it. Good. And then when I say now, it's whoop, 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 and play ball. Ready? One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Sports fans high above the barren sea on just a beautiful day for global conflict. And the question is, can Banner pull it off? And that's why it comes down to this, the biggest play in recorded history. All right, team. The world watches. Kind of a thing. Oh, power, there 
that he didn't punt. No. He died. He's a trick play. Yeah, he's moving downfield. It's an open field. Looking good. More time, Jambo. Crazy American buckaroos. Go, King. Go, November. Go, go, King. November. Go. thinking maybe it is time for a career move. Anyway, I cut the anchor chain with my little knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good man. Sir. Good man. Sir. You wouldn't... You wouldn't happen to have any job openings, would you? Here? I don't know. This is kind of a special crew. Hmm? Oh, come on, oh, Captain. Come on. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Oh, 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 oh. So this fraud has finally been exposed in the substandard scam. And now let's go for a statement up close and personal. Any comments? Yeah, boys, yeah! Give us just something. No comment. Negative. No comment. Where's the money? Mr. Wedgwood, sir. Mr. Wedgwood, sir. So, Michaels, how's your report to Secretary Neighbors going? I'm not finished observing you yet. No, I think I'm going to have to keep observing you for a long, long time. It's fine by me, Michaels. Ensign Skiff, call in the imaging room. Captain Banner, are you there? All repairs yeah. have been completed, sir, and we are ready to take her home. You be the captain. Ooh, neato. Now, where are we? Captain's log, Ensign Skiff in command. 
I've taken charge of the helm, and everything is going just great. Uh, well, maybe not great. Just, uh, kind of a medium kind of a great there. Just... Never mind. Oh, no, no, no.